Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day one of the 10 day wire earring making challenge. Today we're making some really cute little heart earrings. There's many different ways that you can do them, so I'll show you a few different possibilities. You need 20 gauge wire for the base and either 22 or 24 gauge for the wrapping. And we have hooks. I'm using four millimeter miracle beads and you need your tools. So these were the little samples that I made for this project. I'm going to show you how to make like a little loop to hang them as earrings. So there's different ways you can wrap like that. You could wrap wire around the beads and this is sort of like the chaos bead tutorial I did that I'll link below so you could wrap it in that way as well. So to get started we're going to take two pieces of uh, the wire, the 20 gauge wire, probably about six inches is good depending on how big you want your hearts. and. I'm going to do my little earring hack that I love which is to put them both together and then you're going to maybe make one side like a little longer than the other not by too much and then bend them up like that at a bit of a little more than a right angle and then take a round form a marker or a sharpie and then we're going to you don't want them too small these ones because you want like a little bit of detail in them but that's a question of taste if you want smaller earrings just use the 24 gauge for the for the wrap so it'll be a little bit smaller and then just take this and what you're going to do is just bring these wires around so then you know that the hearts are the same size so we we'll just wiggle that around a bit and then you know you can measure it if you want but that looks pretty good so then you're going to separate them and after that if you need to adjust the circles a bit you can for sure and then what you want to do is take the longer end and decide where you want to bend it up and then you could either with your pliers or probably with your fingernails it's okay then you won't scratch it just bend that at a right angle Okay, and if you need to sh uh, sharpen the bend a little bit, just take your flat pliers and do that and it becomes a little sharper. And then you want to make sure this is nicely centered. Take your round pliers and right where that wire is, hold your pliers and bend this around. Now this will prevent it from getting, you know, kind of warped out of shape. So that's in the right position. And then you're going to hold it well with your fingers and just kind of pull that in like really super snug there. So then what you want to do is just clip it. Just clip it right off there. You could push it in a little bit if you need to. And then what you want to do is take this wire and bend it up. So hold this with your thumb, bend it up. So this goes straight up like that. So now you have a wire to form your um, loop with. If you did want, you can stick a little bead in there and then do your loop. Or if you want it very simple, just um, just form it with your with your pliers. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can clip it and then bend it like I've done in some previous videos. Or if you want it a little higher, you can bend it like further up and and then that way you have a little bit of uh, extra space there before the hook. So we can just bend it here and bend this back to do a loop and like I said a little bead there would be super cute as well and then just hold it and bend it around like that and then give it a little clip here so that's cute and then you can if there's an end sticking out a little bit you can definitely uh, flip it around and bend it in so to do this style we need something to wrap the wire around so I just have a small crochet hook. This is a little bit similar to my Flower of Life uh, earring which is um, really cute. I can link that one up below as well. So all you're going to do is wrap this around. Now this wire is very thin. It's the 24 but you can definitely use a um, 22 gauge wire if you want. I wouldn't go as thick as 20. I th would think that would be a little bit too thick. So now we're going to remove it from the crochet needle and you're just going to like spread them out a little bit like a spring 
Now I'm gonna keep it springy like this. I find it really cute. If you wanna do this more sort of flattened version, like the Flower of Life, I'll reference that video below. And to attach the spring to the heart, I would start in the middle here because you wanna secure it somewhere like centered. So we're just gonna bring it here and twist it around there and then clip it. And then basically we want to go back and forth. So let's just try to keep our spring somewhat consistent. And then we're going to bring it here. And then the best thing to do with to make sure it stays in place is just give it a little twist in there. Now the 24 uh, gauge wire is pretty easy to work with. So I would advise uh, the 24 gauge for this, especially if you're doing a smaller heart. If you're doing a bigger heart, you might be able to get away with 22, but I think the 24 is good. And the other thing you can do, you can just crisscross the heart with beads if that's easier for you. I know when I do kids' workshops, often they'll just um, do that. They'll just take a wire and crisscross it around. So there's so many possibilities of ways you can fill up the heart with wire. It's just to give it a little bit of uh, interest. Uh, so, and you could even like just put a bunch of seed beads in there. Um, really the sky is the limit with this, but I just wanted to show you uh, one possibility here. And of course you can also do it like I did the chaos bead, which was uh, really cute as well. So we're just gonna fill it in as much as you can. And then as you get towards the end, it's a little tricky as well because uh, for sure it's, uh, there's not as much space, it might get a little messy, but that's okay. So we're just gonna take the end, bring that, pull that around, and then what you do to one, make sure you do to on the other side as well. So here's the, the little, um, the springy one, that's super cute. So that could be a, an earring like that. And then if you want to do the other one a little bit differently, you can just get your wire and we can do it sort of more in this way with the twisty beads. We start at the bottom this time we'll see how that goes and just twist it around as always I'm just kind of winging it as I go it's uh it's always interesting so we're just going to bring this around here and clip the end you want to make sure you don't have any little pokey ends on there you can push them in with the flat pliers if you need and so what we're going to do here is just bring it to the front bring the wire to the front and then you can add a bead so i thought it would be nice to do the miracle beads you guys know those are my favorites so we'll just take a red miracle bead the four millimeter we're going to bring it here and hold it like a little bit up from the edge and just wind it around and it's fun if you do it a few times so we're just going to wind it around a few times just to make it a little bit more fancy so for this you could definitely use a 22 gauge wire if you find the 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 uh, 24 is too thin uh, whatever you guys have uh, on hand is great and then we're going to just wind it around one side so just to just to get it secured in there a little bit and honestly uh, there's uh, you could do like anything with these because even if they're not 100 percent the same on both sides as long as you use like the same amount of beads you're not gonna you're not gonna notice that they might be like not the same amount of of wraps or what have you so we're just going to go around keep wrapping have fun with it you could make your wraps looser too if you want if you want them more loose you can definitely make them a little more a little more loose that could be fun as well and just i it's i think it's nicer when some of the wraps are looser and bigger than the others i think that's a good idea to definitely do that and it just gives it a little bit more interest. It doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly equal. So we're just gonna keep going, keep going around up to the front. Yeah, try to keep your wire to the front and then that way it'll be a little more consistent. And even if you run out of wire, it's not a big deal because you can just add another piece. That's the thing with this design. It's very forgiving. You can just uh, keep adding wires and beads as you want. 
And uh, it's really, it's just a really cool idea. I think you can just have a lot of fun with it. And then you're just going to keep adding beads. So I did run out of wire. So I'm just going to add another piece here. So probably you'll need a good two feet of wire to do this twisting if you wind it around the beads that many times. So we're just going to stick an extra wire on there and then keep going with the four millimeter miracle beads. I love these beads. You guys know they're my favorites. I use them a lot for different projects and for rings and different things. So we're going to just keep going around, keep wrapping until we filled up the whole heart. So all you have to do now is add your hooks. So we're just going to take this one and stick it on there and then take this one and stick it on there. And you can choose which way you want to do it. You can do it with the beads. You can do it with the springy a wire you can do it with sort of like the flower of life version with the more flattened out wire this is the same as that one and then this is more like the chaos bead wrap with three three wires so i'll link up the i'll link up the tutorial for the chaos wrap one as well thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when i go live and when i post new videos and if you'd like to join the facebook group we have the wire art and jewelry makers club where we share all kinds of photos of our work and inspiration and if you'd like to check out my work on etsy my husband and i specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelries I also have a mailing list so if you'd like to join my mailing list you can sign up I'll put the link below and I'll send you my free wire art essentials ebook so thanks so much for watching if you're uh, joining the challenge be sure to join the Facebook group and if the challenge is over no worries you can still uh, join our Facebook uh, group or check out the event page for uh, creations that people have made in the challenge so thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time